What's going on, crazy family? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we're gonna, in case you didn't know by the title and the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about how I owned a house at my age right now. 10 years old, turning 11 soon. I got this house at around the time I turned 10. But I'll tell you how I got this house. Stay to the end, and I might tell you a little secret. So, obviously, you clicked on this video to learn about how I got a house, and maybe you could probably learn some stuff on how to get one by yourself. Well, first of all, we got a really ch cheap home for our house. We got maybe, let's say, one that had... Uh, it was about 2000 maybe. It was a house that was all beaten up and torn down. There was clothes in it. And then, so we bought it. And we basically flipped it. And we worked on it. And soon it's going to be done. And it will be ready to rent. Now, another thing is... Uh, that you could learn from this is renting. If you buy one of these homes and you get it in good condition, because when we bought the home, there was a hole in the window, which that was easy. We just bought a new window and we put it in the frame. We replaced the window. And, you know, the floors were all pretty bad. The foundation was terrible. So we cut a hole in the ground. We fixed the foundation. And we fixed it, and sealed back up the hole. Nothing too complicated, just easy. And now we've resorted to hiring people. Before we used to do all the work by myself. I'm a pretty smart kid from all the experience I have. But yeah, so we did that. But what we can do, what you can do, is you can find a home, the cheapest you can find. No matter what, Unless it's like, you don't want to do this, you can easily click off this video, but if you do, you can probably make a lot of money off of this, and you can keep on doing it, and doing it, and doing it, until you invest. You want to find a home, and then you want to flip it. Not flip it like that, don't turn it upside down, no. We're talking about making it someone's dream home. Not maybe that would be expensive, but a home that's worth living in. You want to do that, and, you, and then you can rent it or out, or you can sell the home. Just do whatever you want with it because it's yours. You could even live in it. Just do whatever you want. Make it your dream home if you can. And the best part about these is anybody's willing to buy these if you buy one of these cheap homes that are like all broken down and then you fit work on it a little bit you make it kind of good and then you're like this is just too much work which i can almost you probably won't be like that because you'll see that this is a great thing but if you do and you're just like this is just too much work i can't do it it's okay it's totally fine just sell the home as it is it's not hard, but yeah, so like you did, like I said in the beginning, in the intro, you stuck to the end, so we'll tell you a little secret. Whenever you buy one of these homes, you always want to make them at least worth living in. Why, you might ask? Because if you can get some, if you can sell that home, for more money than you bought it and spent on it by like renovating it and stuff you can buy a more like a better home and then you do the same thing with that you do it again and again and again and so on until you are buying these not huge homes but an average size home that's in perfect condition and then you sell it for more than you bought it if y'all liked today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss another awesome video. I know I've been posting in a while. That's why I'm doing this. It's a really good video. You can learn a lot from this. But, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.